Hi everyone, good morning and today we are going to start with edit macros. Macros are nothing but a Rexar sales code that are invoked as if a primary line command in a edit or view mode of the data set or a member. They are implicitly invoked, since they are implicitly invoked, we need to keep that um, macros what we coded in a sysxec or sysprop concatenation. Macros are usually contained in the ISR edit environment commands and um, for the address of ISR edit, the first statement which we are routing should be macro to say that what we have coded as a macro. If you know these four basic points, we are good enough to start, write, uh, start writing the first our hands-on on small macro. Now, before doing the hands-on, you may want to ask me that what are all the things I can do with macro and why should you learn the macros if I already know Rex. I'll tell you some examples what and all you can do with macros. Let's take a very simple case. Uh, most of the time what we'll do, we'll be entering in, um, you know, view mode, uh, we'll enter in source code and uh, we may make change, some changes and when we are trying to say we know that, oh, we are in view mode, we are not in edit mode, we will not save it. So what you do, you do a command of uh, replace uh, dot zf dot zf and uh, member name so that the member will be replaced. Instead of giving this lengthy command, if you have keep this command in a macro and um, call vsave and if you invoke vsave, the member will be automatically saved in a view mode itself. Ideally what is happening is, it's saved as, you know, it, it invokes the replace and get the things saved. More meaningful another example is like, uh, you know, if you are working in an RTB project, uh, many times we, 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 you may want to remove the duplicates which you receive from um, your client or uh, user or um, output of uh, some data sets. So what you do, you, you, will, you will feed the data set to a um, uh, SAR program and uh, do a, um, some fields none uh, on the key of SAR fields and then you will remove the duplicates and browse it, right? Instead of that, if at all you would, uh, you would write a macro uh, on, and uh, you know, invoke the macro say called del dos and start giving the particular key and um, opening the member and invoking this del dos and automatically it removes all the duplicates and show that, uh, you know, unique data or unique values to you. And within a second, it would have been more uh, easy and comfortable for you, right? And another example, if you ask me to say, you know, like, um, if you are in an impact analysis phase of a project or you are working on, um, uh, you know, changes to a program which is identifying the initial impact analysis, like a case of field expansion project or um, anything like that, what do you do? You have, uh, you know, a client or your um, on-site team would have given um, a set of impacted strings. You'll be look for um, one string after other string in a member and um, you'll be making the changes to the string. So if a string list is huge, um, you invoke one after other, it is really a time consuming process. So what you can do, you can do all the strings in a, you know, find out command in a macro and invoke the macro. When you are invoking the macro on your source member, automatically, you know, all the impactor lines um, that has some um, strings will be, uh, you know, highlighted in one shot. So that makes your life very easy. And if you ask one more example, like, you know, um, if you are in an enhancement project, uh, um, many times, you know, for small, small changes, we may need to write a change log. The change log will be usually a standard um, installation format with a flow box and having, um, you know, a data of uh, modification and um, your name and then uh, who is making changes and, um, you know, what are the changes we are doing and all these things, right? So, if at all you keep these informations in a standard template and um, kept inside a macro and um, uh, keep a pointer where you want to paste the change log and invoke this, um, you know, your macro, automatically your change log will be pasted. So like this, um, you know, a number of activities you can do using the macros and um, so it all, uh, what is important is uh, how much you are um, keen in observing the manual activities that are going in the project. And uh, once you identify that, um, you can um, very easily automate with either Rex or macros or um, you know, panels uh, to make everyone life much easier. Okay. Let's start with the hands-on and um, I hope I'll be covering macros in 4 to 5 videos on the max. Okay. Thanks. Let's write a simple macro we save to save the changes in the view mode. SRX macro address ISR edit 
the first statement to address ISR edit should be macro and then to replace the changes in um, remote replace dot zf dot zl the member to be replaced so how to get the member this command will help us mem equal to member that's it we are done now let's see whether it is working let's try to open something called temp and uh, saving in view mode of course it won't work since i haven't um, stored in uh, sys exec so i get the command not found so i'm checking isr ddn so i need to keep this member under any one of the data set for it to be successfully invoked either it should be stored the vsafe should be stored one of these data sets or one of these data set unfortunately i don't have access to any of these data set in this mainframe so what i'm doing is um, i'm simply overriding this exec since it's only for a testing purpose i'm attaching my data set to this exec now i'm invoking vsafe it's invoked successfully okay so we are done with the hands on first simple hands on and um, i want to tell you few things here which may be a starting point for our next video so we are giving dot zf dot zl right this is actually a pointer this is um, this line is zf this line is zf so there is uh, any line you know where the cursor is there that is called dot z csr so that is why you know uh, we we used to give like this right dot a dot b like this if you try to give like you know dot z a the system won't allow because z a labels are, are invalid if you press uh, f1 it is saying that label starting with dot z are reserved for system use so we cannot use it uh, due for our macros we may need to understand some variables like you know z of z of z csr so you know all those three now this is the first line is identified by dot z of the last line is identified by dot z of and current line is identified by dot z of sir aware of this and apart from that i also want to say one thing here see you are seeing something here right this is called short message on pressing f1 what we are getting is a long message and um, if you see if we if you do a issue come issue a save command i am getting a short message and um, if i press f1 i am getting a long message at the same time when i invoke v save even though the save action is performed i didn't get any messages because i haven't set it so we'll see you know how to set these messages and how to effectively use um, these uh, line pointers of um, zip zip prefix uh, line pointers uh, in our next daily session okay thanks for watching